The Smart Home for Seniors House Kit is constructed using to simulate real house scenarios. The kit comes complete with all the essential hardware components, which facilitate the understanding of physical computing and programming principles. In this tutorial, you will learn and understand the concept of Smart Home and assembly the Smart Home for Seniors House model. And, you will understand the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller and its programming environment. For this tutorial you will need the following material. Six plywood pieces. A Raspberry Pi Pico. A breadboard. The MB102 power supply unit. Different jumper wires. And, a laptop or a desktop computer. To be prepared for all following tutorials, you should first, assemble the wooden house model. Secondly, make yourself familiar with the hardware components. And thirdly, make yourself familiar with the software components. To assemble the wooden smart home for seniors house model, please check the detailed description in the learning module. The procedure is simple and can be completed in seven steps. There are two main hardware components. First, the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. This microcontroller board is developed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. The Raspberry Pi Pico is designed for microcontroller and embedded systems projects. It features a variety of general-purpose input and output pins, the so-called GPIOs, that can be used for digital and analog inputs and outputs. You will find an overview of all GPIOs in the learning module. The Pico can be powered and programmed via its micro-USB port, making it easy to connect to a computer for programming and power supply. And secondly, the breadboard. A breadboard is used for building temporary circuits. The Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller and the delivered MB102 power module has to be installed on it. For the MB102 power module you will need 6 AA batteries. Since the experiments involved are all circuit experiments, a wrong connection or short circuit may damage your Raspberry Pi Pico development board. Please, always check the circuit again before connecting the power supply. For this, take two red and two black jumper wires. At the top side, connect the red cable to the 5 volt rail and the black cable to the GND rail. On the bottom side, connect the red cable to the 3V3 rail and the black cable to the GND rail. This basic setup will be used for all remaining tutorials. Our software environment is called Thony. Thony is a free and open source integrated development environment that is designed for beginners. In this software environment, all coding for the remaining tutorials will take place. To get Thony, visit thony.org and choose the appropriate operating system. Follow the instructions to download and complete the installation. It also is described by detail in the learning module. The Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller can only be programmed with the Thony environment by using a firmware called MicroPython. For download and installation please check the detailed description in the learning module as well.